Welcome back to Assemblance Oversight. Last episode, we went through a dizzying array of colors and versions of the world, and now we're back to no color. Now, I could explore the colors, and I'm going to, but first, I want to check out entering some more numbers into the keypad. So, we enter the number for picture E. Do I have it here? Yeah. Site E. We found the number for that. It was this. But there's other pictures as well. There's a B. There's a D. There's also a C, although it's mostly covered up. So, I tried to find those on that website where we got E from. And I think I found B and also maybe D. I'm not sure. A little bit hard to tell. And then I also have a bunch of miscellaneous ones. These are just all of the coordinates or uh, latitude longitudes that were mentioned in the description on that one site. Basically any named place that also has a coordinate attached to it. So I want to try all of these. But first, to get the keypad to come out again, I gotta do the overload redshift thing. So let me just see if doing that doesn't result in anything different. Because I feel like things might be different now, you know? I'm not really sure. Let's do the overload thing again. Nothing seems different so far. It's also just really cool to see that again. Do you really think he could actually do it? What does that even mean? Keypad activated. And there's still this reboot code to use, by the way, if I wanted to. I definitely don't, though. I'm scared to do that. That it might just erase all my progress and bring me back to the very beginning of the game. So I have a lot of numbers to enter. I'll bring you back if anything happens. I'm gonna start with the Mona Lisa crater. Wow, I'm blown away. None of them worked. Just messing around in the white shifted world. I want to see what would happen if I stared at the cube in this world, because I used the cube to become red shifted and then from there overloaded. And then the overloading made everything white shifted. So if I look at this, is it going to do something new or is it just going to take me back to red shifted? Looks like it's just simply back to redshifted. Yeah, nothing seems different. What happened when I looked at the butterfly again? Some version of the world where things have just gone wrong. And where does this take me again? she could actually do it? Oh right, this is how I become blue shifted. That more clearly? I don't know if I explored everything very well blue shifted. So let's look around. Ooh! Okay, that's immediately different. Uh, actually, I don't want to stare at that just yet in case it just takes me somewhere. Hey, friend. Don't want to scare him away. smarter than everyone else. Oh, we should unpack that statement. This is not a success. I demand an apology. Is anything different here now? No. Do I have to be white shifted to make it blue shifted or anything like that? Or can I just go straight to the butterfly? I want to go back to Tessera Valley and see if I can stare 
zoom in on the butterfly if that would do anything different, but it probably won't. So let's go to other places first. Do you really think you're smart? Oh, right, the Matrix is back in there. I think I've been in this version. I think this is where I went. How about back to the installation site in the blue shifted world? What if I looked at the butterfly again? It would probably just take me to the same thing. I'm not quite following you. Yeah, it seems to be the same as before. But let's go past the butterfly and see if anything's different. Access denied, okay. In that case, I think it's just either back to the huge butterfly or Fenera 17. Do you really think she could actually do it? Well, uh, good luck with that. Remember when I told you I was you? Well, I wasn't you. You were me. How is that, you ask? I made a promise to myself never to share that with you. That is something you must discover on your own. And when you do, I won't need to tell you. You'll already know. a new ending. I am sorry that ship has sailed. Back to the blue shifted world and the huge butterfly. That's it for the blue shifted world. Just entered the code that we got over the radio, that like broken message that takes us back to the office to where the cube is inside of that room that I can't get inside of except through this portal. I wanna go back in there because I don't remember where the cube takes me in this world. Right. I thought Perhaps maybe going through the portal would take me into the blue world, but it doesn't, of course, not surprisingly. Which is why <laughs> that is not in this room. So we gotta make it blue first. So now within here, where did this take me again? Right. Green shifted. super don't remember what I explored in the green world. I don't think we very much. That statement. So, let's look around. Sometimes I wonder if I can, if I walk slowly enough, if these birds won't be disturbed by me. Nah.
Nothing new into Sarah Valley or the office, but at the installation site. I can enter here. Can't remember if I did this before. Oh, just back to you. It's like their sole purpose is just to reset me. Mean. I think the only thing left to try in the green world is Venera 17. I would apologize for that. I told him. I told him all. Everything is my responsibility. That person's fired. That person's fired. Even that person's fired. I'm fixing everything. go back to the unknown frequency. The one where we saw the giant head welcoming us. The one where we changed colors to some messed up sort of red. So I could make out some of it. It said, you now have oversight to join me. So remember, I, I can't reset and get out of here. Nor can I now. Pressing F to switch the color again and again. should be terminated this time. Uh, your point being? Oh, there's... There's some very, very, very quiet voices in the background. Here, I'm going to be quiet and boost them for you. We need new subjects to make new mistakes. Should I do Venera 17? I forgot what I did in this, this color shift. Oh my. I was looking around the office and I just discovered something. I can continue to press F to change the color at will. Okay, well... I'm sorry, that ship has sailed. Well, that changes things. That I should stare at everything with every color. Well, let's go back to this Sarah Valley then. Inside the chamber, 
I don't know why I didn't think to try that. It's like, of course. Ah. Oh. The butterfly stays here in these... In these three different colors? Four? Five? Six? Oh, I think it's just straight up staying here. Um, hmm. I'm scared it's going to reset me. I don't want it to. What color would be likely to work? I mean, I guess blue? Oh, wait, can I... Oh, yeah, there we go. It's blue. No. Oh, never mind. Do you think he could actually do it? I still have the ability. I don't know. Does it really matter? What if I just switch through them all? <laughs> I can't hold it down to like make it constantly change. Yeah, I really don't know which color would work with this, if not blue. I guess I'll just try them all. None of the colors did anything. So, my last idea is... What if I don't switch colors to see the butterfly until I'm right in front of it? I think it makes any difference. Hold on. In the office. There's a note that only appears in some of the versions of the world. That one there. Look at it as I switch through the colors. Gone. 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 There. Gone. There. So is it just blue where it appears? Blue. Uh, the cycling of the colors is random, by the way. Blue. I think it's just blue. Subject AI slash GTAT-TP. Recipient Dr. R. Plovis, author Dr. Morgan Lewis, pages 52. <laughs> the testing of the proposed re reactance revisions to the guidance system is complete. A proposal for next steps follows this summation and the results. In 32 out of 34 test cases, the accessing of unsourced memories led to exploration of the memory despite any warning of repercussions. Confirming the vetting process is nearing 100% success. <laughs> the two cases where complete abandonment occurred showed correlation behavior in both action at stage 3 and a similar response to question 4 of the behavioral assessment. I anticipate with the previously proposed revisions, we can close that stage of research and move on to implementation. I've also outlined a trial to assure any signs and or actions detrimental to our goals from subjects deemed indispensable be redirected in ways to ensure a sense of power and control is maintained, while never relinquishing our ability to reassign without cause at any given notice. This will allow us to keep any and all sub-projects active without exposure to any pertinent data concerning something. Finally, and in conclusion, I have drafted a version of the exit interview to be tested immediately on the 32 success cases as final proof that we can indeed move forward with assurance. I expect these will conform to the goals you have given me and the proper foundational reset we are aiming for is within reach. This report is pretty disturbing, so they actually want people that chase after things that they ostensibly shouldn't because it's dangerous or because they've been told not to. 
32 of the 34 cases, the accessing of unsourced memories led to exploration of the memory despite any warning of repercussions, confirming the vetting process is nearing 100% success. They want that. Why? Is it because, hmm, is exploring unsourced memories dangerous and they want people to explore those dangerous memories without taking any of the responsibility for that danger? Because if they tell them don't and then they do it anyway, then, you know, the test subject went, went astray, not their fault. Um, and it also says any signs that are actions detrimental to our detrimental to our goals from subjects deemed indispensable. Uh, a, a trial that will redirect them in ways to ensure a sense of power and control is maintained while never relinquishing our ability to reassign without cause at any given notice. So that sounds like, I don't know, almost like everything that I've accomplished so far may have been just to give me a sense of control. And maybe they're doing it just to make me feel like I'm in control. To make me keep pushing. Is all of this just playing their game? Alright, well I think I'm going to end this episode here for now, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to continue to look for any differences as I walk around all these locations and constantly flip the colors and see what changes.